join us in this series as we head off through France into Spain, or as we like to call it, the land of milk and honey. And in this episode, it takes us three nights, four days to travel all the way through France into Spain. So setting off on our next adventure to the land of milk and honey. Spain. Or I could call it warts and all and we could do all the disasters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're trying out new microphones. Uh, we're just leaving the site now, heading down to the south coast of England to get the New Haven ferry on first thing Sunday morning and then into France. So let's set off and see what disasters are behold or what adventures we can find. Here we go. This is Seaford. Find somewhere to park up for the afternoon before we head off to the ferry terminal for the early sailing in the morning. Hello everyone. Right, we are parked up on the front at Seaford um, because we need to park at the ferry terminal later this afternoon, ready for um, the ferry at 7 a.m. or leaves at 7 a.m. from New Haven. So uh, it's very difficult to park a motor around any of these places because they've got signs everywhere. Um, it does say cars only on this pebble verge that we're on um, because it says it's soft, but there's other vans on it and as there's nowhere else to park a motor, what the hell? <laughs> um, anyway, we're just going to have a sandwich and then take the dogs out on the beach and um, go from there. Right, we're at um, New Haven Port, it's 4.30, we've just arrived, ready for tomorrow's sailing at 7, so it's 5 o'clock check-in, um, and there's quite a few motorhomes already in this little car park, it's free if you go in the next morning, so it's free overnight, otherwise they charge you £5, five pounds. Um, quite tight really, as you can see, not a lot of space. And I guess it's going to be noisy until uh, the evening comes. Anyway, there we are. We'll let you know in the morning just how noisy it is and whether or not it's worth staying here. Early morning start, ready for the ferry. It's half past five. Quarter to six. Quarter to six. And we're in the queue. We're in the queue, we slept in the car park. It's a bit of road noise, it wasn't too bad. Anyway, we're just going to check in. And you always get one idiot in front of you. Like, the queue on that side is really long. And now uh, they're going straight through. We've got this idiot in front of us. God knows what he's doing. Probably looking for his passport in the back of his boot. About to embark. Here we go. Leaving Blighty again for 90 days. Whereabouts? <laughs> Get in there. Cold, grey, February day. It was icy overnight. The question is, would you stay? in that car park next to the station again. In the yeah, park. probably would actually. You would? Yeah. It's okay with earplugs. So 
so we're thinking of staying in Chatres in the free air down the south side and now that we've got the camera out you can't see that famous cathedral there you go is that it there Yeah, the, the reason we didn't stay in the uh, equestrian centre car park is because it was really busy with people and there was no other motorhome there so we just thought mm, not today but I'll probably go there another time because it looks lovely there's a beautiful lake and a walkway around it anyway this is looking pretty good too a very impressive chateau right straight on the roundabout and then my side so as we probably said, we left Chartres, we didn't fancy parking in the car park there. So we've come to Chateau Dun. Very peaceful night here. Mm. Well, there's 100 pictures and three motorhomes in total. I Still, mean, the water's turned on though. Yes, water, electric, so we were all nice and toasty and warm last night, even though it's freezing cold. And we're just walking into the town. So here we are, Chateau de Chateau Don, done. Um, apparently it is, well the owner who made it habitable was the um, someone who knew Joan of Arc, known as the Bastard of Orléans. Had something to do with King Charles VI. Well, I assume that's the French King Charles, because we haven't made those numbers yet. And it was built in, um, or 14th, 15th century, I believe. There we go, that's what we know. That's about all that's in this town, actually. We've not seen any shops yet. Here we go. Still in Chateau Dun. What the hell? I've still not seen any shops though. So just coming into tours now, see it in the distance, oh it's got a lovely cathedral over there, I haven't googled that yet. Where, where, where? Over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. Oh, oh. oh yeah, I can see two spires. Two spires. Right, we're on the auto route, towel route, because um, that's the most logical way around tours on the way to, down to Poitiers. So here we are in Chateau Rochefort-Cold, or Rochefort-Cold anyway. And just there is the camping car park. We might be able to spot our Roma through the bushes. And we've done this place before, so you can check out the other video. But there she is. So it's a good place to stop on your way down south, heading towards Spain. Um, this is our second night. Yeah. Our second night. Second then... time we stayed here. Though. No, second night from the ferry. Oh yeah, second night from the ferry. Yeah. Sorry, I should clarify that. You second should, night yeah. from the ferry. And there were a few vans last night, but a lot of them have disappeared. No. Yeah, there was about eight or nine. We're a two-minute walk from the chateau itself. Um, so we're just exercising the dogs and we're heading off past Bordeaux. Quick wine stop as well on the way. So it's only two euros, 19 a bottle. A nice rosé. So I'm going to pick some more up and then head off past Bordeaux. But we've been lucky with the weather, it's been sunny. The roads have been fairly quiet so we've made good, good progress haven't we? Yeah, best ever I think. So all good in motorhoming life at the moment. <laughs> Famous last words. Well, we've just walked outside and gone the other way away from the chateau and we're out by the river. We didn't know that. 
Yeah. Anyway, it was 11 euros a night with electric, and as it got down to minus three, it's lucky we had electric. Come here, Lena. Right, signing off, honestly. So just coming up to the um, turn off to skirt around my favourite little village called Bordeaux. And uh, yeah, let's see how busy it's going to be today. And we're just coming up to the, oh and it's all in red so it's nice and stopped on that junction. Quite fun. But it's not this one, so after it. The N230 to Bayonne. It's red on the map, so it must be chocker on the t N230. So this seems to be standard practice going round Bordeaux, parking up on the motorway. First time there was a crash, the second time we'd done it, it was chucking it down the rain, and now, well, let's see what this one is, or whether it's just the amount of vehicles. It's a bit like it's burning, isn't it? There's no way around it. Yep, yep, you have to go around Bordeaux. There's a nice little fountain over there. See what you notice when you park up trying to get on the road. Oh, oh, fuck car driver. Just letting you in. Well, that's nice. Nice and smooth, not? Anyway, we're on. I'm just going to point out the N10 down from Ang Angleleme to Bordeaux is a very good road, isn't it? It's nice fantastic. and smooth, easy travelling. Really good. Been on it before in the rain with loads of trucks, but today, beautiful sunshine, not as many trucks going our way, so it was, uh, it was a nice drive, wasn't it? A nice. Nice, drive. nice blue sky. And free. And free. No tolls. Hi everyone, we've just arrived in southern France near the border with Spain. Um, we're just about the Bayonne area and um, it's been a lovely drive down, I must admit, if a little busy today. But the sun was out, it was a gorgeous drive and um, we're on a nice little site that you pay at the gate when you leave. Um, so it's gated, it's got water. Um, Black waste dump, EHU, um, yeah, it's lovely. And we're 300 meters from a massive beach. Can't wait to get there with the dogs. We can have something to eat now. Um, Got to watch out for the procession of caterpillars in these trees. A couple of nests there. Got to be careful. It's time of year for a little while. Um, so there we go. What a lovely spot. Got to admit. So here we are at Andres, 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 13 euros a night, machine to get in there. That's not the name of the site. That's where you are. Yeah, it might be where we are, but it's not the name of the site. Oh. We'll, we'll put that one on in a minute. Blue sky, sunshine. Yep, uh, I got 13 degrees. degrees. Uh, that's probably 15, 16 in the sun. It's been lovely, isn't it? It's been lovely. Mm. Anyway, we're heading to the beach with the doggies. On their ball. Um, there are some signs of processionary caterpillars around, so we're just going to keep an eye on that. I've already said that. Oh, you've already said that. I asked you whether you did anything. <laughs> and you went, no. No, come here, come here. Glass. Don't mind the processionary caterpillars, watch out for glass. Anyway, heading to the beach. Here we go. Here we are at the beach at Andres. Andres. There's the sea. What do you think, girls? Here's the dogs. The sea. Woohoo! the sea. Dogs. Let's go for a run round. And it says dog friendly beach. Oh, it doesn't say no dogs there, does no. it? So we're taking it as dog friendly. It's a nice beach, isn't it? Plage Saint Poubelle. Bin free beach. Take all your rubbish away with you. Oh, yeah. Right. Here we go, girls. 
Are you ready? You're going to be surprised when you see a ball. Go! Yay! Freedom! See you next year! Bye! That is a nice beach. Big sandy beach. Oh look, the sun's over there. That's Spain. Spain! It's the land of milk and honey! The sun rays on them is Spain! The land of milk and honey! Before all those clouds came, we could see the snow on them. You'll see that on the GoPro. Bye, Zena! Yeah. Dad's got your ball. Sit! 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 Stay! Ready? So that wraps it up for this week. We made all the way through France from Dieppe down to Andres in three nights or four days into Spain. If you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up, please subscribe and comment so that Luna can get another tennis ball.